Another Clash Royale video and today we're taking a look at the Lumberjack. Now I have five decks to share with you guys today with different win conditions to give you guys some options as to which deck you want to use. The first deck you can already see right here is a classic Golem meta beatdown deck with the Lumberjack. And then the second deck is a Hog Cycle deck with the Executioner NATO combo. Third, we have a Giant beatdown deck. Now if you guys don't have the Electro Wizard, go ahead and use a Musketeer instead. And if you don't have the Log, you have a bit more options with that card. You can use Arrows if you want to keep three spells in the deck, or you can basically use anything in that spot. It's kind of like a wild card. If you do want to use an Electro Pump in this deck, that is the card that I would replace. Now the fourth deck right here is a Balloon Lumberjack Cycle deck, and the fifth and final deck is the Royal Giant Furnace deck. Now, once again, if you don't have the Electro Wizard, go ahead and use a Musketeer instead. But we're gonna go ahead, guys, and jump into a live battle with each of these decks, starting off with this Golem Beatdown deck first. All right, here we go, guys, with that Golem Beatdown, facing off against a Storm Troopa. So this should be a fairly easy battle, because he won't be able to hit us at all in this battle. So let's go pump right there, greedy pump right at the start. We are open for a huge, aggressive push. But the fact that he just did a slow go uh, bowler push right there is kind of okay. So now he might have a graveyard deck or a giant beatdown. We shall find out shortly, or maybe both, Giant Graveyard Beatdown. I'm assuming we will find out soon, my friends. Boom, boom. We're gonna arrows on this build up here in a minute, guys. Boom, build up, arrows, thank you. Nice, so we're gonna take a bit of damage with that uh, Graveyard, but we still got a little bit of a lead with that pump, as well as the Lumberjack getting some damage done as well. So we're gonna go one pump right here in the corner so we can't get further chip damage done with that Poison Spell. And I think his graveyard is not in rotation, so he isn't able to do a quick punish push right here. So we kind of have a free pump going on right there. So we'll find out soon what Stormtrooper's move is next. Now, the Lumberjack in this deck is nasty, guys. Very nasty. Let's go Golem right here to distract that um, knight. And then we're going to do Baby Dragon in the back for the graveyard because he can't poison the Baby Dragon. And the Golem will distract the knight nicely. So let's go... Um, we're gonna chill out for a minute and just let the knight die. Maybe do a mega mini right here. And I kind of want to just chill for a moment, guys. Chillage. Lightning all three of these. Boom. There we go. Yes, do work. Kill that bowler. Kill the bowler. Okay, so we're gonna go, uh, arrows anything here? Do we arrows anything? Nope, the knight going in. Let's go. Skeletons right here. And then kill the Electro Wizard. Yes, Lumberjack doing work. Getting to the tower, getting one swing off. And now we do got to be ready for a quick graveyard right here. Let's go pump right here. We'll Mega Minion this knight and then Baby Dragon in the graveyard if he does graveyard. Baby Dragon back here. Kill the knight. Baby Dragon Splash doing a fair decent amount of work against that graveyard right there. And then we're going to... Mm, no Golem up front, we're going to ditch that push goal, Golem back here, do a slow push with that, and see if we can't get a lightning down for value right here. Nope, no lightning guys, no lightning needed. Actually, lightning could have been done uh, decent against that baby dragon right there, but I didn't want to get too greedy. So go skeletons to cycle, want to get a lightning right here for this bowler as well as the electro wizard, boom boom. Nice, electro wizard's dead. The baby dragon right here, knight do fairly work, lumberjack do work I mean. I was looking at the knight. Boom, arrow's going down. There we go. Let's get a Lumberjack right here, guys. The Rage on the Golem just does so much work. Getting to the tower, getting that death damage. Lumberjack getting in there, doing massive damage to that knight. And that should be a GG against our friend up top there, Mr. Storm Troopa. Let's drop a lightning right here, guys. The Rage Baby Dragon, the Rage Mega Minion, doing decent damage to that tower and giving us that one crown victory. Let's go ahead, guys. Take a look at that Hog Lumberjack deck. All right, here we go with the Hog Executioner NATO Lumberjack Magic deck, guys. Facing off against Old Chipper up top there. Good luck, sir. Hope you're having a pleasant day. Let's see here. We don't really got the greatest starting hands. We're gonna go skeletons back here to cycle. Maybe get some free skeletons. Archers? Okay, let's go. I don't like the starting hand, guys. I don't like using the Executioner right here, but the Lumberjack is way too fast moving to really do much right there. He might have Rocket or something else, so we'll see what he has. Executioner kills Archers. Now, unfortunately, the Executioner at level 6, it doesn't kill Archers in one swing, which typically, at equal level, they do do that. So, Mega going down. King Tower activated. Ice Spirit for this. Freeze those E-Barbs. Yes, Lumberjack, do work. We're going to do a nasty Hog Rider right here, guys. Yes, Lumberjack, get it. What does he got? What does he got? What does he got? Archers? Uh, nothing to zap, though. Nothing to zap. Lumberjack gets some swings off. Yes, baby. There we go. His tower's at 2,057 health. 
Unfortunately, the Lumberjack in the back, ideally you do want to get the Lumberjack up front to support your Hog Rider. Because when, once he dies, you can do work with that Raged Hog Rider. So, pull everything to the middle right there. The Hog should die fairly quickly. Thank you, sir. And now we have a fairly good rotation. The Hog Rider is the next card after this Lumberjack. So we could do a quick hog push if we wanted to, but we know he has Elite Barbarians in his deck, and Elite Barbarians do kill the Hog Rider fairly fast, so I don't want to do that just yet. So we're going to go boom, and then boom right here. And then boom with the Skeletons. Nice. Does he zap him? Hmm. I think we ignore that uh, Elite Barb right there and just go in with the uh, Hog Rider right here, guys. Execution doing a fair a bit of work to that tower. Once the Mega Minion goes down, we know he doesn't have Hog Rider, or he doesn't have the Elite Barbarians, rather, in rotation. So we are good to go for a quick hog push right here. He only has archers and logs. He's going to do log archers right here. We're going to fireball this. Boom goes a log. Yes. Calling it, guys. Calling the cards perfectly here. And now he's got a hog rider in hand, ready to go with the ice golem as well as the elite barbarian. So we're going to be ready for the next defense on his part. I do expect him to push the right-hand side. So we are going to do an executioner on that lane. There we go, guys. Like I said before, calling it perfectly with these plays. Freeze that Hog Rider. Skeletons kill him. No damage done. Lumberjack over here. Fireball for these E-Barbs. Yes, sir. Boom. Nice. He's going to Fireball our Lumberjack. I'm kind of okay with that because with the Raged Tower, the Elite Barbarian won't do too much damage at all. We're just going to play for a one crown victory here. We are not going to get greedy and go in for the two crown. Um, let's go execution on defense. Tower is dead on left. Lumberjack over here. And let's NATO everything together. Boom. Where are you guys going? Not to my tower. And where is his Elite Barbarians coming from next, guys? Where are they going to be? Predictions. Right there, all right. Interesting choice. Let's go boom, boom, and then a triple boom right here. Good game to our friend Old Chipper up top there. Let's go ahead, take a look at that giant beatdown deck. All right, here we go, guys, with that giant deck facing off against Jose89 up top there. Good luck to you, sir. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic evening. Because you were about to get crushed, so I hope the beginning part of your day was better than what this part is going to be. Let's go quick push right here. Does he have anything we can zap? Lumberjack doing a fair bit of work. Fireball going down, raging up the Spear Goblins. Still getting some decent damage into the tower in the process. The only reason I did that Lumberjack quick push right there is because we didn't have anything to do a slow defense into this Golem. Let's go Mega right here. We'll see what else he does in the back. Poisonous Night Witch for sure. Go boom, Electro Wizard as well. Kill the Night Witch, please. Kill the Bats too, please. Yes. Electro Wizard surviving, doing work to that Golem. So that quick push on the left-hand side was fairly decent with that Lumberjack as well as the Goblin Gang. And it appears we are facing off against the uh, classic Golem Night Witch beatdown deck. So, um, I want to punish that Pump with a quick Giant Drop right here. I don't want to use the Lumberjack just yet until we have some for the Zap spell. So we're going to zap this. Boom. Kill the goblins. Yes. And we should do it. Oh, can we get the log down, please? Ooh, that log was wasted, guys. The goblins were already dead. I did not expect the lumberjack to be so strong right there. He took out all of the goblins so fast. Now, I'm kind of sad that we wasted that log spell there because we would have right here four more elixir, to de or two more elixir, rather, to defend ourselves. So if we lose this defense short to elixir, we know why. We know why, guys. Let's go kill that baby dragon. Mm. Giant over here. Force Electra spent on defense. What does he got? We're going to poison this Night Witch as well as the Goblin Gang that he wants to do. There we go. Okay, alright. Respectable choice. Uh, we're going to go Goblin Gang over here. I want to log back that Golem as well in a second. Boom. Nice. Zap, let's go. Electro Wizard back here for this. Yes, thank you. We're going to Mega Minion his Baby Dragon as well. Boom. Yes, there we go. Golem die fairly quickly. He's going to get lightning here in a second, guys. Yes, there we go. Electro Wizard kill it. Get a giant up in front right here. And I want to poison something in a minute here, guys. Uh, poison this Night Witch. Yes. Where's your Goblin Gang coming from? Yes, we're going to lock it back. Boom. Yes, there we go. Lock it back. Kill the Night Witch. Poison finish it off. Kill the... Yes, kill the bats. All right, so we're going to go... Goblin Gang over here with a Mega for this uh, Baby Dragon here. He's using the deck that we featured yesterday, guys. Uh, or maybe like a version of that deck. Which is the... Uh, the Golem Night Witch clone deck that I did in yesterday's video. Or Mirror deck. I don't think it has a clone in there, but... We definitely did a video on this deck recently, which is fairly funny. 
pretty funny if you ask me. Let's go... Uh, I'm gonna go boom, and then boom right here. And we're gonna go... Goblin Gang. Is that this? What's he got? Mirror? Anything mirror? Gonna poison all this jazz? Giant, get some work done, please. Giant, get some work done. Yes, Giant, get some more work. Kill that stuff. Rage Giant for the win, guys. Yes, there we go. Three crowning with the Lumberjack Raged Giant right there. I knew if I did a slow defense into that slow golem push, he would win in the end because the golem beats out the giant head on. So I went in with a quick counter push for the three crown victory. Let's go ahead here, guys. Take a look at that balloon deck. All right, here we go, guys, with the balloon cycle deck facing off against a dinosaur up top there, guys. Which dinosaur is he? Tyrannosaurus or what other ones are there? I can't think right now. So let's focus on the battle here, guys, and stop playing around. What do we got here? We have a decent starting hand. I don't really want to do the knight back here, just in case he does have, like, a mortar deck. Um, he could lock onto our tower and do work, so... We might do the mega on one of these lanes, but I don't like opening with this deck. Uh, let's go knight right here. Um, if he mortars, we'll just kind of accept the damage. So, he might have the mortar cycle, actually, with the lock on the arrows, or the archers in there. He might actually have the mortar cycle. So we'll find out soon, boys and girls. We'll find out soon. No, Baby Draken isn't typically in the motorcycle deck. So I'm not too sure what he's using right now. Come on, Baby Draken, get in there. Kill those skeletons. Yes, Baby Draken, do work. Yes, Baby Draken. And I want to do a quick Lumberjack Balloon push on the left-hand side, boys and girls. Ready for this? Nastiness. Boom and boom. What does he got for us? Lumberjack, get it, get it, get it. Pekka. Oh, nice. Balloon, do some work, please. Now, we're not going to do a uh, fireball on this archers because I want to be able to defend this uh, Pekka right here. So, we're going to go skeletons, boom. And then, baby dragon here. And I'm going to do knight Aru. Archer's dead. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to stop this Pekka right here, guys. Come on, kill it. We're going to zap this in a second. Boom. Zap. Yes, kill the Pekka. One hit on our tower. Not ideal at all, but the baby dragon should go down fairly quickly right here. Now, knowing he has a Pekka in his deck means we have to kind of play a bit more uh, defense and go in on a better opportunity on offense. Of course, we don't have a long-range uh, defensive unit in this deck, like a Musketeer or a... Uh... I'm going to switch lanes, guys. Right here, Balloon, Lumberjack. And then he's going to Pekka that lane. All right, so the Balloon might get some work done. Balloon gets some work done. We're going to go Skeletons over here. Baby Dragon for these uh, Archers. I'm going to go, yes, Knight. Pull this P.E.K.K.A. over. Pull the P.E.K.K.A. Tongue twister, guys. Pull the P.E.K.K.A. over. The skeleton's building up on that tower. Look at this, guys. Look at the tombstone. Have you ever seen a tombstone do so much damage on offense right there? I don't know, guys, but it is crazy right there. What do you got for us? Kill that tombstone, please. Boom and boom. He's got the tombstone ready to go this time for our balloon push, which means we're going to fop all this jazz right here. Boom. Yes. Get it, Balloon, get it. Ray, zap this right here. Balloon, get in there. One hit Balloon, one more hit Balloon. Rage it up, rage it up. Yes, there we go. Dead Tower is dead. Let's go. Boom, boom. Night Baby Dragon over here. And we're going to do Skeletons as well to hopefully distract for a couple seconds. All we need is a couple of seconds of distraction, guys. Baby Dragon hit faster. Lumberjack hit faster. Nice. There we go. Good game to our friend, a dinosaur. Up top, Balloon on the tower. And there we go, guys. Good luck to you as well, dinosaur. I wish you the best in the future. Good game and well played, my friend. All right, so here we go with the fifth and final deck. I know it's all of your guys' favorite strategy in the entire game, and that is the Royal Giant, guys. The Royal Giant. So much fun to use. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get a Furnace on right here. With this deck, you want to have the Furnace providing chip damage over time, and also you want to try and time out your Royal Giant push with the Fire Spirit spawn of the Furnace to help provide extra support. Especially that they have like barbarians or stuff like that. So let's go Electro Wizard here. We're gonna go um, ignore that Fire Spirit. The Electro Wizard is gonna get stunned right there for a couple seconds. We're gonna chill out for a couple seconds right here, guys. Boom. Notice how the Electro Wizard kind of just stares at the second Fire Spirit like, what do I do? What do I do to this little red guy? Lumberjack will kill the E Barbs. We're gonna go minions as well. I'm gonna zap this. Boom. Kill the. Yes. No hits to our tower. No hits to our tower. That is what I like to see, guys, for sure. So, Fire Spirits, yes, there we go, there we go. Let's go Electro Wizard right here to kill this Lumberjack. Boom. Skeleton's here. Nice, there we go, there we go. Kill the Archers, thank you, thank you. There we go, Fire, uh, the Electro Wizard finally hitting both of the Fire Spirits with its attack. Definitely nice to see. 
Uh, we're gonna ignore that this time. Go furnace over here. Oh, bad timing though. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's all good. Don't you worry, my friends. He's getting that poison damage over time, but he is splitting his damage a bit too much with the poison on the right and then his pushers on the left hand side. So I'm kind of okay with that. He's gonna do another elite bar push on the left right here, maybe. No, he's gonna keep his E barbs for the Royal Giant defense. Which means we want to have the Lumberjack in front as well as the minions in the back. So let's go. Boom, boom. There we go, guys. Where's your Elite Barbs, sir? Lumberjack right there. All right, all right. Let's go. Electro Wizard here for his E Barbs. There they are. Raged RG doing a fair bit of work right there, guys. But the Raged E Barbs doing even more work to the Royal Giant. Dang, he goes down fast, guys. He went down fast. Skeletons. Nice. Um, let's go one more furnace over here. He will keep poisoning it over time, which I'm kind of okay with that poison. Honestly, guys, I'm definitely okay with it. Let's go RG. Boom. There's the poison. There's the poison. Wait, 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 wait. Fire spirits get out. We're going to ignore the archers and just do a nasty push right here, guys. This is going to be nasty. Uh, let your wizard over here. We're going to fire about all this jazz. Get the lumberjack in there as well, hopefully. Boom. Nice. Another furnace right here. Another furnace, get those fire spirits out, kill them, kill the e-barbs, yes sir. Boom. Come on, RG, get some more hits. Nope, you die fast, you die fast. Yes, e-barb going down, thank you. One more royal giant right here. There we go, we're gonna zap this one, I think, boom. Kill the archers as well as that fire spirits. And let's see here, guys, do we want to get another furnace going on? I think we do, boys and girls, I think we do. Let's go... Boom, we're gonna fireball this once again. Electro Wizard right here. Boom, got both the archers as well as that tower. And the furnace, RG, get one more hit, please. Yes, there we go. Boom, fire spirits spawning out. Thank you, fire spirits. One more slow Royal Giant push right here, guys. This should be the push to end the game, I believe, right here. 30 seconds left, we have time for just this final push, guys. That's it. Just one final push is all we have time for, boys and girls. Electro Wizard here. Fireball right here. Boom. Nice. Minions, do work. Electro Wizard in front. Royal Giant, get it work done. Please, zap this right there. Boom, there we go. One more Royal Giant hit. One more Royal Giant hit. Yes, guys, there we go. Level 10 Royal Giant taking on the level 13 Elite Barbarians and giving us that one crown victory. But anyways, guys, that will be the end of the video. Here are the five decks one more time if you want another chance to go ahead and copy them. So first, we have a Golem Beatdown deck. Second is a Hog Rider Cycle deck. Third is a Giant Beatdown, fourth is a Balloon Cycle, and fifth and finally is a Royal Giant deck. Now let me know which of these five is your favorite in the comment section down below, or if you use the Lumberjack in a different deck, let me know what it is in the comment section down below. I do want to ask you guys for some feedback. In videos like this where we take a look at the top five strategies, would you rather I share all five decks at the beginning of a video, or would you rather I spread them out throughout the video before each live battle with each deck? Let me know your feedback in the comment section down below. But that is the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.